reaching the height of Christian perfection, August 6. If you make God your strength, you may, under the most discouraging circumstances, attain a height and breadth of Christian perfection. Both thought and action will be necessary if you would attain to the perfection of a character. Understand what the Bible declares in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. It says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Understand, as we look at the word exceeding, it is in behalf of or uh, for the sake of. As we consider the word abundantly, it is out of or, in other words, from. As we consider the word above, it is more than. Uh, as we consider the scripture again, it says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, or now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, on behalf of us uh, to bring out from us more than that we ask or think according to the power of Christ that worketh in us. Uh, the scripture is quite clear that God is working within us. He is working on behalf of us to bring out of us more than we can even ask or even imagine him to do in our lives. And that only comes by the power of Christ dwelling in our hearts. Uh, you might be wondering how to get that power, the power of Christ inside of you. It is very easy. Just ask him to come inside. Revelation chapter uh, 3 and verse 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh, if any man would open the door, I will come in. Why not open your heart's door uh, to Jesus, for Jesus to come in today? Why not trust uh, his word? Uh, let us ask God to come into our hearts, for that's the power of his word. Uh, let us pray. Father in heaven, uh, we just want to open the doors to our hearts. And we want to ask you to come in and grant us that power, the power of the indwelling Christ. In Jesus' name we ask, uh, amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.